What's up guys? Welcome back to show. Welcome back to another video. And in today's video, we're finally doing another Porsche video, but this time it's actually going to be something that I've been really looking forward to doing. And that is pretty much getting rid of the airbag light on this car, which is, I believe is the final light on this car and uh, getting on some mods because I can't just do a not so cool video. I have to do something that's pretty awesome at the same time. So one of our goals in this video is to knock out uh, the seatbelts. We have a seatbelt fault for both seatbelts deploying in the accident, both seatbelt tensioners. Um, and then we also, um, I think that's about it actually, but I, I figured I might as well do something else while we're waiting for the belts to get fixed because earlier yesterday, if I go ahead and open up the door, um, you guys can see all this plastic missing. I did go ahead and remove both seat, uh, both seat belts off on both sides. They were in black. Um, I don't know if you guys can see my theme, but yeah, going with the yellow thing, got the yellow corner gauge, yellow beautiful stitch steering wheel. Uh, this is a upgraded steering wheel as well. So that's looking absolutely phenomenal. So I figured I might as well go ahead and upgrade the seat belts as well to yellow, which is gonna look so, so, so good. So it's getting rebuilt and it's also getting re-strapped, I guess you would say. Um, that's getting done at LND Solutions. So shout out to them. It is getting done and hopefully within the next couple of days, it should get done, bring it back, put it in, and then hopefully clear the airbag fault. I am still waiting on the coolant situation to get resolved hopefully that should be resolved here pretty soon i just keep doing upgrades without getting the cool things resolved i'm just trying to get the airbag light kind of knocked out so when i actually get this thing towed to a place that can hopefully help us with the cool thing i'll be able to drive the car home after that because i don't like driving cars with airbag lights um just because if god forbid anyone actually hits the car um i don't really care as much for the car as for my safety so i don't want the airbags not to deploy and then you know something actually happening so long story short i don't like driving cars with airbag lights on so yeah trying to knock that out real quick quick so we pretty much did the dashboard two knee airbags um and yeah now we did one seatbelt tensioner we need the other seatbelt tensioner and then the two seat belts and then we should be good there's a lot of things this thing pretty much deployed absolutely everything so yeah we're almost there so i figured while the seat belts are getting rebuilt and finished up we're actually going to be upgrading the door panel so i don't know if you guys can see this right here this right here has Elkantara on there which looks so 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 good it is absolutely filthy and it has the gt4 this is a gt4 door panel so Elkantara there has a pull strap out over here here in black i figured i'm gonna go ahead and uh replace something in my car which i don't know if you guys can see right now but it's a little bit bubbling up and it's peeling back it doesn't look too bad on the driver's side here's how a normal door panel looks no alcantara there normal pull I and mean, it looks pretty nice but um kind of basics all black on the passenger side you guys can see the issue a lot more transparent through the window the door panel is literally yeah that's that's horrendous so that looks absolutely terrible um and yeah might as well instead of getting this repaired replace and upgrade and then the pull straps they do look good these are oem gt4 door panels but went ahead and actually ordered some of these off etsy and uh long story short we're gonna have yellow pull straps which i think is gonna look so 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 good with the interiors i'm super stoked about that um so without further ado let's go ahead and remove both of my door panels and then get these bad boys in there and i guess we'll sort out the seat stuff later feel like it because i'm really excited for this i want to do this first So yeah, once we actually get all the screws out, theoretically, we just kind of lift up on the door panel, just like that, and it just comes right on out. So that is a nice and easy way to do things. So only one connector on here. Just like that, guys, door panel is out. That's actually very easy. Now, unfortunately, looking at both of these door panels, uh, it looks like I might actually be losing my memory seat settings. I guess on a GT4, there is no memory seat settings because the door handle, which is where it's at, is missing. So. That kind of sucks. I did not notice that, honestly, uh, until I just literally now removed it. So, yeah, I guess that is what it is. I'm going to take off that switch, and I'm going to keep it in the trunk in case, for whatever reason, this car has some preset settings that I absolutely hate. I'll pop off the door panel one more time and just plug in that, reset it to where all the settings are pretty much gone, and then it just basically be like a GT4 where there's no settings. So, um, yeah, I think that's the move as of right now i don't really see any preset settings so i'm not really tripping i don't think i'm gonna need that right now but again i'm gonna take that off keep it uh but other than that everything else looks the same my car does come with the bose sound system so the only thing is i think it's just this piece i'm gonna go ahead and take that off and then just super glue it onto that grill because that this grill doesn't look like it's removable so yeah fun stuff fun stuff i think in order to remove this grill i have to move this whole handle and uh, sacrifice the integrity of it when i'm pulling on it so I don't want to do that. So yeah, 
Yeah, yeah, don't wanna do that. On the back of the door panel, because you are also upgrading the straps, it looks like there's an eight millimeter right there, and then two, looks like T20s, that we have to remove right here. And then I believe, theoretically, this just pretty much gets seated in like that, and then we're done. So it should be really easy. So 10, uh, eight mil, two of these guys, let's go and get those off. So we got the old strap out. Honestly, it was really easy. It does seem a little beefier than these yellow straps. These yellow straps look, look, look like they went to like Joann's and just cut. I mean, this is such an easy business, guys. <laughs> I paid $40 for these. This looks like a Joann's special. Uh, but anyways, you guys can definitely do this at home. Uh, but I just went ahead and purchased it because I didn't know it was this simple. Uh, but yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and shove this in here and just, you know, just pretty much install it the same way I uninstalled it. Shouldn't be too shabby. So guys, this doesn't look that beefy compared to the OEM one. Like I said earlier, the OEM one's super thick, uh, but this does look really good. So I'm definitely gonna keep this for now, but uh, yeah, I'm not gonna link these because I'm not too happy with it. I recommend honestly just going down to Joann's, taking this off, uh, finding something thicker than this or just as thick as this and uh, you know, just literally doing the cut yourself. I, I think they even cut it over there for you. So nothing too crazy, but that yellow does give this whole door panel a nice touch with the Alcantara. Looks absolutely phenomenal. I'm gonna go ahead and try to see if I can clean off most of this stuff. I don't really like the way that looks. So hopefully I can clean that off and then we'll slap on this new door panel. And just like that, guys, check out this door panel. This section right over here still needs to get cleaned up a little more. It does look a lot better than it did, so I know it can get cleaned, but it looks like it does need a lot more cleaning. Uh, this whole door panel, I'm gonna probably end up getting the whole, uh, what's it called, interior detailed when I'm done with it. But the pull strap is working. I don't know if you guys can hear the mechanism. Everything is working perfectly. It is bolted up absolutely perfectly. No more sag up here as well, which looks so much better. Uh, the only thing it's missing is a little cap right here. This door panel didn't come with it, unfortunately. The other one did. Uh, so we are gonna swap out that one. Uh, but yeah, honestly, guys, everything's working. Everything looks fantastic. This is probably one of the easiest door panels to remove and install. And doing that little retrofit, guys, was very, very, very easy. This mechanism bolts up the exact same way the standard mechanism works. Uh, so you don't need to do any like weird fabrication or retrofitting. It literally just plugs in directly, bada bing, bada bang, you're done. And I'll be able to see it from the rear right now. This car is really coming out. It's absolutely filthy. I cannot wait for it to get this first polish. I actually have some decals for this car. It's gonna make it look super, super, super aggressive and looks good. Um, yeah, GTS taillights just upgraded, diffuser, wheels, tires, door panel, getting a bunch of upgrades in this bad boy. Steering wheel, chrono gauge, about to get some seat belts. Let's go ahead and knock out this guy with the power of editing. And just like that, guys, with the power of editing, the door panels on El Cantara. Got the beautiful yellow stripe, and then also, I don't know if you guys can see that little detail right there, but I got the Bose Sound System uh, logo up higher, because I think that looks a lot cleaner that way. So typically, it was located right down here. I actually got it located right there. So because I'm doing retrofits, I do think that's a better location to have it, because when you open the door, you really don't see it, but from this angle, you can't miss it. I think it looks absolutely fantastic right there. Uh, let me know down below, guys. You guys like it right there, or do you prefer if it was hidden back there? But anyways, both door panels are on the car. You guys can see the yellow theme coming together. I cannot wait for the seatbelt. It's gonna look so, so, so good. Uh, but anywho, at this point, I'm actually gonna go ahead and throw in the driver's seat because everything on the driver's seat is repaired. I'm gonna throw it in there, start reassembling most of this stuff. Um, I just can't fully reassemble it until I actually get the seatbelts, uh, but at least I'll be able to actually move the car front and back uh, because right now it's very difficult without a driver's seat. So again, with the power of editing and the power of my physical hands and the power of YouTube, let's go ahead and get that in there. And just like that, guys, both seats are in the car, new seatbelt tensioner in the car, supposedly. Um, still throwing a fault for the seatbelt tensioner on the driver's side. So passenger and driver's side both have faults still. So I don't know if it blew on that other car as well, because again, I can't tell if it's blown or not. So I'm just gonna go ahead and take both of the seat buckles as well to LND Solutions and see if they can check them to see if they are blown or not, uh, because you physically cannot tell on either car. Um, that being said, it does have two other faults for the seat belts, because there's no seat belts even in the car right now. As soon as you get those in the car, I have no, I have, I'm pretty sure those are gonna work 100%. Good news guys, just got out of there. Got both my new seat belts redone in yellow. So not only do they rebuild them, but they also customize them. So I got it done in yellow, trying to do all the yellow accents got both sides done uh so yeah these are actually they didn't actually look blown but they're both throwing faults basically there's two there's one right here 
and another one right there there's two fuses that blow in here one of them actually controls the buckle from going in and out and the other one i think is just an extra one um that the both both of the extra ones basically blew but they were both working if you guys know what i mean so they don't look blown but they're throwing faults got them both repaired both in yellow absolutely fantastic so here we go guys we have the door panels in the car with the yellow gt4 strap and the yellow seat belts in the car so this thing looks absolutely amazing again shout out to lnd solutions if you guys need some custom belts make sure to hit them up uh, but it really does help the interior pop we got the yellow seat belts the yellow chrono gauge the yellow stripe on the steering wheel and now the yellow gt4 door panels uh this car is really coming together i've been trying to wrap up all the videos on this porsche because i know a lot of you guys just can't wait for the bmw content so we're gonna be getting to that here pretty soon so as of right now, um, we just have one major issue with this car, but it doesn't prevent it from driving. So I have been driving the car, have been enjoying it, but there's one thing that has to do with that that doesn't work. So uh, hopefully we'll be fixing that here pretty soon. I have to fly my boy Nick back out here. So you guys gonna be seeing Nick here pretty shortly. And hopefully we'll fix the last major concern with this car. And then we'll see what the plans are for the Porsche. But long story short, don't worry guys. BNW content coming soon. Love y'all so much. I'll see y'all on the next one.